by end of this video you will know when not to pay that collection agency when to pay that collection agency basically whatever that has to do with paying collections i will cover in this video stay tuned this communication is from a former debt collector and is an attempt to teach you about debt and credit any information given is free and for good deed and it can be used to beat big banks so the only reason i'm making this video is because i've seen so many incomplete and misleading information out there that if the person who's looking to get help with their death don't don't look around any further and they just go with the information they received online it will seriously hurt them financially i've seen this firsthand when i was working in that collection agency and to give you an example i will tell you a story one day i was at work i get a call like normal like usual i go through the process and then i ask for the money i ask for the money and then she goes no i will never pay that collection agency i ask why we go back and forth and then she tells me that uh, she watched some videos on YouTube that told her never pay a debt collection agency because you don't have a contract with them, the debt is charged off and you don't owe the collection agency anymore. She didn't know that there are three kinds of collection agencies out there and the information out there only applies to one of these three kinds. Okay, so I explained everything to her and long story short, she made the wrong, uh, she made the right decision and everything was solved. No problem, nothing happened. Okay, but that brings me to my next point. You need to know your options. You need to know about the source of this information that you're getting. It's really, really important. Financial decisions are really, really, really important. So when it comes to debt collections, when it comes to dealing with debt collections, you have exactly five options. The first option is to never pay the debt collector and ignore the debt. The second thing you can do is to pay the debt collector. The third option is to delay the debt, which is very possible for smaller debts. But if a lawsuit starts, that's a different story. Fourth, you can fight the debt collector. And fifth, you can file for bankruptcy, which is never recommended unless in rare circumstances. Now that you know all your options when it comes to dealing with debt collectors, you need to find out which one of these options is the right option for you based on your situation. And that all depends on who you are dealing with. And in order to find out who you are dealing with, you need to know a little bit basics of what happens when you miss a payment to a creditor, to a bank, to a lender, to the owner of your account. And I'm going to get into that next. Let's say uh, you miss a payment to your credit card, to a lender, to whoever you have your account with. What happens usually for the first 90 to 150 days, the bank is going to try to collect on this debt internally using their agents, their reps. They will call you. They will send you letters that, hey, if you don't pay by this time, we're going to send it to a third party collection agency, blah, blah, blah. Then they will start the process of charge off. And charge off happens usually on 180th day, the sixth month. Okay. And by charge off, I mean they write off the debt as bad debt on their books so they can use it as a tax write off the following year. Okay. You follow me? If you have any questions about any part of this so far, please write it in the comment section. I will make sure to answer any questions you guys have. This topic is really important to me. I've seen the side effects of this bad information out there and it hurts me truly. Okay. Now that the lender, the credit card, the bank, they have your charge of account on their hand. They are banks. They don't just let it go. They have two options. They can either assign your debt to a collection agency or they can sell it to a junk debt buyer. And the option they will choose all depends on the result of the next step they will take. So once the debt is charged off, the banks, they will get to work. The first thing they will do, they will look at the original application you filled out when you opened the account with them. And what they're looking for is useful information that they can collect on the debt more efficiently. The second thing they will do, they will look at your credit report. 
and what they are looking for is paid off houses, paid off cars, anything paid off. They will look what bank account you're paying your credit cards with to see if they can freeze it, levy it. And the last thing they will do, they will check for any stable employment so they can garnish your wages. If your bank find an asset on your credit report, what they will do, they will assign your debt to a debt collection agency. These type of debt collection agencies are usually law firms also. And their business model is to file many lawsuits, counts on uh, people, consumers not responding to them so they can get a default judgment against them. And 58% of the lawsuits that happen like that end up in default judgment. And that's my proof that this incomplete and misleading information out there is in the benefit of the debt collectors and against consumers. Okay? Now, if your bank doesn't find any assets, what they will do, they will sell your debt to a junk debt buyer. Okay? Now, the debt collection agencies that the debts are assigned to them, the junk debt buyers, they will start collecting on this debt. The debt collection agencies with the debts assigned to them, they have a time frame to collect on this debt. If they are unable to collect within that time frame, they will return the paper, the accounts, back to the original creditor. And this time, the original creditor is going to sell it to a junk debt buyer. Okay? The junk debt buyer is trying to collect on the debts that they have also. If they get the money, good. If they don't get the money, what they will do then, they will sell the debt, this time to a bottom feeder junk debt buyer. And the process goes on and on and the, each time the debt gets sold, the collection agencies that buy it are nastier because they use harsher tactics in order to collect on the debt, okay? And that brings me to the point I was making in the beginning of the video that the information are misleading, incomplete. They mostly apply to the bottom feeder junk debt buyers and the cheap junk debt buyers who cheap out on buying paper and they don't buy the paper that comes with the contract and they can't prove it in court. But if you're dealing with a collection agency that represents the original creditor, if they are a law firm, they can get those paperwork like this. And if that happens, you will end up losing the case in court. And if you just ignore it and don't respond to them at all, you will end up with a default judgment against you and you don't want that to happen. I'm not saying pay, fight. Find out who you are dealing with. And if you are dealing with a bottom feeder junk debt buyer, please, please, please do not hire a credit repair specialist and waste your money. It's so easily removable. You don't need anybody. You can do it yourself. All you got to do is send one or two letters out there. Okay? And it's done. Just subscribe to my channel. Ask me any questions you have about debt collection, debt settlement, credit repair, anything that. Okay? And I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you for watching the video. And thank you for watching Debt Relief.